back like we never left. SP here with another live reaction to the beginning after the end. This week, we're reading the second chapter of the Jasmine side story. So let's get it. Jasmine side story, chapter two. Let's get it. You see, oh my girl leveling up. You see her training. Young Jasmine with a sword. How did that? With the sword training. Bang! As she's sparring against some dude as he just like calmly blocks. Mmm. So Jasmine, as she's fighting, she calm with it, boy. He blocks her strike with the sword, right? She lets go of the sword to then go ha back fist. Right at the man's face, but he whoop dies that John. Catches the sword. Oh nah, she is cooking. Now her dropping the sword backhanding to hit him and then grabbing it again. Like nah, she going crazy. She cooking. Mm, but again, this guy he's training against, it seems like he's too buff, boy. He's just able to get his sword in a way before she gets stabbed and Jazz has to jump jump back. You expect you expected to strike me. Don't get scared and back off when things don't go the way you predicted. Yes, sir. Okay, that man just really, really teasing her girl. And then we see right as he goes, pew, and they go off again. Continue to, to spar. Crack! God damn. And instantly, man's able to disarm Jasmine as she's looking stunned. Your movements are fluid, and you use your ambidextry well. But your weapon may be too heavy for your skill set. Interesting. Okay. So the man talking to her. Let him know he's cracking. But regardless, all of this. Don't you think Jasmine will make a fine warrior? Lady Flamesworth, and we see mom is peeking on now. Mom is watching. Mm-hmm. Especially once she's able to utilize mana, you see, again. So they don't know. They still don't know that she's a wind mage, bro. Yeah, the trainer seems like he's a nice guy, for sure. He seems like he's cool, but we got to reserve judgment because we don't know his true, his true nature, bro. You know what I'm saying? So mom's like, yeah, she'll be lit once she utilizes her mana. But... And you see, Pops pulls up. Everyone just e immediately just bowing ahead because Pop pulled up. Like, yeah. Proceed immediately to mana trading with the crystals. Just like we practiced. And you see, mm-hmm. Jasmine nods her head, dips off. We open the door. Send, send Jasmine. Send her through. They open, we get into a, a, a room now. And we see... Like four chests on this like dresser, and they guide Jasmine to the dresser. You know what I'm saying? To the, to the chests. Okay, so they open. Boop. One chest opens up, and we see a mana stone in there. Now remember, Jasmine, as Jasmine sits sits cross legged, mana stone in her in her hands, ready to begin this training. The level three training crystal doesn't have as strong as an attraction towards the mana inside your body. You will you will have to work harder to move your own particles towards the toward the crystal. And as she as he's saying that, she ain't even listen to the old boy. Eyes closed, Jasmine focused. As she starts this man of training, we see starts swirling around the crystal. Because since we know she's going to use daggers, the trainer knows the sword is too heavy for her. Right. That's true. It's it's big insight for sure. Like the trainer seems like he's a good, like a good guy for sure, and he definitely seems like he had Jasmine's like well-being in like you know in mind for sure, you know. And mm, as she's doing, it goes that's it, and we see a sick panel, bro. Of I assume this is when Jasmine's core awakens, and we see a bright light inside of her chest. And then we see a bunch of different color strands, blue, teal, purple, orange, red, black, all these different strands getting from the core to from our core through her arms all the way down to her fingertips. Focus on the feeling, focus on the feeling of pushing, of gathering, of the mana in, inside you moving. Oh, this isn't her awakening yet? Oh, okay, okay, bet, bet, bet. And it's yours to control, Jasmine. Push it towards your hands and into the crystal. Mm, and we see, as this happens, 
The mana moves, pink, inside of the crystal, and it starts sparkling with this blue, blue radiant energy. Father, mother, did you see that? I cleared another crystal. Good job. Another half a year faster than predicted as well. That's crazy, bro. Yo, Jasmine really is a prodigy, bro. And then it, it feels like to me that they're really gonna just drop Jasmine, bro, when they find out she's not a flame, a flame, like, uh, she didn't use fire magic. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna just drop her despite her being a prodigy. It's crazy to me, bro. It's wild. Oh, interesting. So Pops is is happy, Loki, like, great. Another half year faster predicted. But again, the man, as this happens, he's, hmm, thinks about something. He's like, the man, I think he noticed something, bro. Yeah, okay, he was good, bro. We had to. T-Bait is here. We had to get the nitrogen going, bro. We had to. Oh, shit. Here it comes, bro. To the Pops. Pops goes, do you have any elemental crystals available? You see? And this might be where it is, bro. This might be a turning point. Because again, the previous panel, he looks like he noticed something, right? When this happened. He's spending too much and it's a burden. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Good. Let's have Jasmine try one. Thordius, that's unprecedented. And even if was like, sir, Jasmine still has two more basic mana crystals to clear before she begins the elemental. You know what else is unprecedented? And the man, yo, Pops don't like people talking back to him, bro. He said, bro, you know what else is unprecedented, boy? The level of talent Jasmine has at her age. Now, go get the fire crystals. Fire crystals to be exact, boy. An awakened fire crystal from our youngest before an annual dinner party would further solidify the house, the flames worth house. That's crazy, bro. It's not gonna happen, though. It's not gonna happen, boy. It ain't gonna happen. Your your expectations are becoming unreasonable. I simply have faith in my daughter's powers extend beyond the boundaries of her age. So we see moms and pops now begin to butt heads as they argue about what Jasmine's best best interest is, you know? And she's like, bro, what the... As she looks on, like, confused about what's going on, bro. She, yeah. So moms turns around. Pops goes off. Even Azulia and Laurel and, and, and Laurel haven't started on Elemental Crystals. They put her, he puts her hand on, she puts her hand, the mom, on Jasmine's shoulder. And the other siblings didn't start until they were at least 12. Senyir was able to activate the fire crystal on their first try. It took Rowan a few weeks and Cassian a few months. Father was livid. I can't fail him now. And we see Jasmine now thinking on to this about how long it took her, her like siblings to clear this, to like pass this crystal. And she's the one to feel her pops. Just crazy boy. Jasmine, activating an elemental crystal is very similar to the basic mana crystal. Cassian being the guild guy who passed arts. Oh. I don't, I low key forgot about that. I, we met that guy before, Cassian. I low key forgot about that. Best arts. That's crazy. That's very interesting. I I pre that Mabel. I did not did not remember that at all. Yeah, we knew they were related, but like I didn't remember he was even a character, but that we met. You know what I'm saying? However, elemental crystals are are made of condensed ambient mana belonging to representative elements. While you, while we use basic crystals to guide young mages to, to connect with the mana in the air, we use elemental crystals to test the affinity of mages when they're close to awakening. Okay. 
the, bro, that I that shit. I don't want to talk about that, bro. I don't. I wish you didn't even post that, bro. I wish, honestly, I wish you didn't even send me that, bro. Because seeing that was not pleasant. <laughs> Jasmine, you're still very wrong. You're still very young. Excuse me. Don't worry if the man at Crystal doesn't respond to you. Well, why don't you give it to her? We can find out what happens instead of suggesting hypotheticals. Your pops is not with nothing, boy. Remember, pushing the feeling you experience with the basic crystals? This is similar, except we don't want to push everything. This crystal doesn't want all the mana. It only wants a specific kind. Can you feel which kind that is, Jasmine? As she, again, holds this crystal in her... In, in her hands as this just starts to, you know, power up a little bit. See, Pops, Trainer, both looking on. Mother as well, looking on as wind starts to swirl around Jasmine as she sits here and meditates. And you see, doll, oh shit. So the, the crystal immediately after like a minute, goes dark, bro. Dull. Shine is gone. Is that what's supposed to happen? And she shivers. Well, it is a little too early for this test, so go get another one. Yo, Pop says go get another one. Sir, I don't think I would like to try again. P please, let me try again. So Jasmine, obviously... She only views this as like trying to make her, her like parents happy. You know what I'm saying? So she immediately is like, yo, I'll try again, bruh. It, it must be me, you know? And again, we see a beautiful shot of the Flamesworth Mansion as they get, they've been getting, they've gotten several crystals now. We see six crystals on the floor. All of them doled out. As she failed this test six times in a row. And she's <sighs> breathing heavy. All of this. Father, I quiet. Tell me, what have all the lessons been for? Training sessions for four hours, twice a day, for years. For what? I have invested a surplus of resources into my daughter. And she can't even awaken a beginner level fire crystal? Yo, Pops is on some bullshit, boy. It, it's too early for any normal child to... Jasmine is not a normal child. She is a prodigy. Yo, Pops is fucking losing it, bro. And we see Trainer, like, flinches as Papa Flame yells this. Even old girl, the moms, is, is taking it back. Like, boy, shit is not it. I will not tolerate leniency with my children. I only provide the best trainers, and I am failing to see desired results. Oh my god, he, he sighed. He had a fire the trainer, bro, which is bullshit. Jasmine's physical training hours will be doubled. Her med whoa. Her meditation periods with the triple with the crystals should be tripled at least. Sir. Yes, Sir Trodius, and tr I trust you will continue doing your best. As And Jasmine just nods as she just, bro, she don't know what to do now. Good. He walks off. You see the mom now comes over to try and console, to con console her, you know? Pats her on the head. You can do it, she says. And Jasmine Wipes her fucking face as she's sweating from this test, bro. Telling your kids they're probably just actually proven the negative. Yeah, hundred percent. It 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 it's very very detrimental, low key. Giving them those kind of expectations as a child, it's not good, bro. Bruh. the mom, bro. With the crazy thing, I'll keep you. The mom can't do much, bro. I like. I know. How, I know what you mean when you say L mom. And I, I understand the sentiment. Yeah, she's not helping. 
But she literally, she cannot help, bro. The dad is literally running this household with an iron fist, bro. She cannot do anything. She can't do anything. Like, yeah, like, the dad is way worse. Yeah, the dad is way worse. Like, the mom literally, I don't think she could do anything, bro. I, I don't think she could, bro. It's, it's tragic. Jasmine wipes it. May I begin the next level mana crystal? She wipes her face and gets ready. Oh, my God, though. This is crazy. Jasmine's side story. Chapter 2. End. Man, boy, the Pops is a L, dude. He sucks. He's just terrible. The mom is also a stepmom. If I... Ooh, I might have missed that, bro. I might have missed that. But that fully would make sense. Seeing how she acts and how he runs shit, bro. Oh, my goodness, dude. It's crazy. This was... This is rough seeing her like this, bro. Seeing Jasmine have to go through this stuff as a young child is very rough, dude. Like, her pops is on some bullshit, man. For real. Read the first one about prodigies. Could be the... Calling your child gifted or prodigy often leads to stunting the child's educational growth once they reach topics they struggle with. This is because they conceive themselves about the topic should be easy like everything else, and asking for help would get them in trouble. Additionally, making a child skip more than one grade total can make them socially stunted as they cannot interact with kids their age. Think Sheldon Big Bang Theory. Yeah. It, that's 100% real life, though. Like, that's that has proven. It, it's dead as fuck. I'm betting real mom wouldn't have it. Yeah, I mean, that's to say if the real mom's, like, alive, who knows what even happened to the real mom, bro. The, the real mom could be, like, gone, or they could not be, they could she could have passed away. Like, it's, it's bad. Bro, we do not need a side story of Lucas. Hell no. Hell no, bro. What we do need truthfully the side story about elijah that's the one we need boy that's what we need boy but i'm very hyped to continue reading this side story and see where it goes her pops on some bullshit boy i ain't gonna lie her pops is on some bullshit for real but yeah if you made it to the end a live reaction i appreciate y'all so much if you enjoyed don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helped the boy out. And also, subscribe to the channel because I'm bringing different live reactions weekly. And we're on Road to 1K. So, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.